Hello grade nines. Today we're going to be going on to the area uh, of parallelograms and kites. Okay, so our first example here is determine the area of the parallelogram, C-U-T-E, which is this shape here. Now just to refresh your memory, if we have a look here, the formula for the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. Now this base and this height need to be perpendicular okay which you can see over here so if i choose this length over here to be my base this length over here to be my base then this length over here is my height and it is perpendicular to the base remember it's 90 degrees so all we need to do here is we need to find out this length c and something okay uh, let's call it, let's call this H for height, okay? Now, because this is a parallelogram, if this is 10 centimeters, I know that this side will also be 10 centimeters. If this is 28, this entire length here will also be 28 centimeters, okay? Now, they've told us that, or we said that this was 10, but they told us that this was 2. So we can work out what H is, is using Pythagoras. Now, here's your 90 degrees. So this is the side opposite your 90. So that is your hypotenuse. So we know the formula is going to be H squared plus 2 squared is equal to 10 squared. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do this on the calculator just to show you how we can do it quickly. So it's going to be 10 squared minus 2 squared. And we get that. Then I need to take the square root. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this off to two decimal places. So we get 9.7. That's going to become a 10. So that's 9.8. So h is equal to 9.8 centimeters. Okay. So now that I know that this is 9,8 centimeters long, I have the base and I have the height. So we can work out the area. So area is equal to base times height. Our base is this entire length, remember? So that's 28 multiplied by our height, which we've just calculated, which is 9.8. Again, we can put this on the calculator. And we get 274.4 centimeters squared. Okay. Right, going on to example two, we've got to work at uh, saying here, determine the area of the kite K-I-T-E. If it is given that K-T, this whole length here, is 20, and I-M, this little length over here, is 9. Now, I just want to get the formula for a kite, just to refresh your memories. So an area of a kite is equal to half times D1 times D2, where D1 and D2 are the lengths of the two diagonals. So what we can do is we can call this long one here, KT, D1, and we can call the smaller one here, D2, okay? But they've told us here that KT is 20 millimeters so we know the length of that main diagonal there then they go and tell us that i m this length over here is nine now important thing about a kite is this that this main diagonal here the longer one bisects the smaller one so this one will also be nine okay just remember bisects means it cuts it in equal halves okay so we also know that's nine so therefore this entire length of this diagonal is 18 okay so now we know that the area is equal to a half times d1 times d2 and we get a half times the d1 i said let be the longer one which is 20 multiplied by d2 is now 18 and we get here 180 millimeters squared. Okay. Going on to example three. Determine the area of P 
PQRS. Okay, now this is a um, trapezium. And remember the formula for a trapezium is over here. Area of trapezium is equal to a half. The sum of the parallel sides times the height. Now just remember that this height is the perpendicular height. Okay, so what we need here, grade nines, is the sum of the parallel sides. So here's a parallel side, these two here. So we need this length over here. And then we need the length of the bottom one. Okay, so as you can see here, the top one they've given us as 24 centimeters. Okay, then they told us that this little length over here is 7 and that one is 5. But this length over here will be equal to this length over here. So this will also be 24 centimeters. Okay, so this entire length is just the sum of these three here. So that will give us 29, so that's 36 centimeters is the entire length. So we have the total length of that one, the total length of that one, so that's part of the formula. All we need to do now is we need to work out the height, the perpendicular height, which is this one here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in this triangle over here. We know that this is 12, that's 7. We can work out that using Pythag. Because remember that's 90 and this is the side opposite the hypotenuse. So we get h squared plus 7 squared is equal to 12 squared. Just do it quickly on the calculator for you guys. So it's going to be 12 squared minus 7 squared because we take it to the other side. We get an answer then I need to take the square root. And I'm going to round that off to two decimal places. So we get 9.75. So H is equal to 9.75. And our units are centimeters. Now I can use the formula. So we have here the area is equal to a half. Some parallel sides. Then times that by H. So we get to a half. 24 plus 36 times by the height, which we worked out here to be 9.75. Okay, and we can put that on the calculator and we get a half 24 plus 36 times 9.75. And we get a final answer of 292,5 centimeters squared. Okay. Right, going on to example four. Um, the area of this kite, A, B, C, D, is 64 centimeters squared. Calculate the value of X. So if you guys can't see it, X is this length over here. Okay, and they've given us that this is X. They've also told us that this is 6 centimeters. And then this little bit here is 4 centimeters. Okay, so the formula for a kite, remember, is a half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So we know that the area is equal to a half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Now remember, make diagonal 1 the longer one. So if this length is x and that length there is 4, that means, also we know what our area is, it's 64 equals a half. Back to this, so if that is x and that is 4, then that total length is x plus 4. Times by diagonal 2, now if this little length over here is 6, this one is also 6 centimeters. So that means that entire length there is 12. Okay, what I'm going to do now, grade twelves, is, uh, grade nines, is I'm just going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this. And we get 64 times 2, and we get 128, is equal to x plus 4. Then I'm going to divide through by 12, and we get 
10 comma, and I'm just going to round this off to two decimals, 6, 7 equals x plus 4. Take the 4 to the other side and it becomes a minus, and we get that x is equal to 6 comma, 6, 7 centimeters. Okay, and that was just using the formula, guys. And this is why it is so important. You need to know these formulas, which we did in the previous lesson, off by heart, guys. They are not going to be given to you. And um, grade nines, I think that is it for the lesson. Okay, what you guys can do for me is exercise 15.2, number one, C to H, then number three, four, and five. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.